Hey guys, the Rick here bringing you another video. It's one on one time with the Rick. And today's guest is Mike. He's a young man behind DIY Aqua Pros. Really, really glad to finally have you on the channel. Hey Rick, thanks for having me on. I'm really glad you brought this series back to your channel. And I'm looking forward to see who you interview in the near future. It's one of my favorite series. So let's get started with the questions. My first question, everyone gets this. How long have you been in the hobby and what do you love most about it? So I got started when I was about 16 um, and I'm almost 24 now so I think that's, if my math's correct, it's about, it's getting close to eight years now. And uh, when I got started, uh, somebody else actually got me into it. I actually, I received a tank from a friend and it was just a tank and it came with, you know, I got like an air pump and I think a, like a broken under gravel filter. And so right off the bat, I was in a situation where I had to make use of, of things I had laying around, right? Because I didn't have any, any money to go out and buy all these filters and, and all these things that I needed for my tank. And so that's kind of, that's where I got my, um, my project roots from. And you would think that that would be uh, my favorite aspect of the hobby or maybe the science stuff that I focus on but my favorite aspect of the hobby is is the setup process and planning out exactly what I want a tank to look like uh, I think it's really fun to to just be able to completely create a new ecosystem every time you set up a tank and uh, just be creative and so for me that, that's the favorite, my favorite aspect of the hobby, is going through that creative process where you get to plan out, you know, you have an idea of what you want a tank to look like, and then I'm, I'm sure you and most other people out there know that it, it never goes the way you want, but that's okay, and that's, you know, that's part of the fun in itself. Um, and then, of course, the setup itself, um, you know, seeing your ideas come to life, and then, you know, the not so fun part of waiting to see, you know, what, what a tank's gonna look like. Um, you know, 10 weeks down the line, you know, six months down the line. But, but for me, that, that is my favorite aspect of the hobby is planning the setup, setting it up, and then watching, watching your ecosystem grow. Now, Mike, I know you're currently going to school. What are you studying? So right now, I am attempting to get my master's degree in microbiology, which is what I studied as an undergrad. Um, but it's actually sort of an interesting story how I got involved in, in what specifically I am doing. Um, and so back when I was an undergrad, I was looking for a research project to help bolster my resume. And I emailed like 20 professors, and the only one that responded to me uh, was a professor that worked with nitrifying bacteria in soils. And so we all know that nitrifiers perform arguably one of the most important biological processes in our tanks, um, of detoxifying ammonia and turning it into nitrate for our plants. And, and so that was really cool. You know, that motivated me to, to do better in school and to do really well in this project. And through working with him, I met other other people and eventually started to work with another professor that worked with again with nitrifying bacteria but more in uh, more related to wastewater treatment and that was even more cool because you know we're we're performing a part of wastewater treatment in our filters and so that again continued to motivate me and was one of the reasons why I decided to stick with school and so right now I'm still taking a lot of classes. I'm still in that portion of my education. Um, but I'm also you know, starting to slowly work on my research project. So I work with a species of nitrobacter. And we grow them in these really cool bioreactors. And they're continuously fed. There's an input and output of media. And I'm interested in basically looking at gene expression of this organism as we change different components of its growth media. And so, you know, that's really cool. That's what I'm working on right now. And that will lead to me having to write a really long thesis <laughs> one day in the near future. And so, you know, I'll say I'm also looking forward to that, although I would rather spend more time uh, with doing this. So that's, that's my school story and that's where I'm at. Now, besides the hobby and school, what do you like to do in your spare time? So being in grad school is kind of like having two full-time jobs. And when you pair it with trying to do all the YouTube stuff, it makes it really hard to do much of anything uh, in, in what free time I have. But, you know, when I do, uh, I pretty much just do the regular 24-year-old thing. 
Uh, I go out with friends, and I also try and play golf uh, on weekends when I have a chance, something I've done since I was a kid. And when I have an extended period of time off from school, like during winter break, uh, for example, I try and go snowboarding. Um, but again, you know, that, that rarely happens anymore. So that's what I try and do. Now what I want to know is what made you start a channel on fish keeping? So I started a YouTube fish tank channel, number one for the women, of course, um, but a close second was initially just to document my progress through the hobby. Um, I thought it would be really cool to be able to look back on it one day in video form rather than just, you know, memories of tanks and, you know, whatever pictures I took. Um, and then, you know, as I thought more about it, I realized that it would be really cool to try and create a place where you know, somebody finds one thing that they're interested in, well then they, they've now found a bunch of other things that are relevant to them and that will help them. And that was, that was sort of something that, that I wanted to, to focus on because I remember when I started out, and I'm sure many of us are, are familiar with this, when we start out we're, we're hungry for information and we're looking everywhere and we have to scour the internet to find all the pieces of information that we need to start a tank or to just learn about the hobby. And so um, as I you know, made videos and was thinking more about what I wanted to do, it turned into something where I wanted to create a website or a place or a channel that sort of encompassed um, as much of the hobby as I could. And so science projects were really popular. You know, Somebody was out there already making kick-ass project videos, but it was something that was central to my hobby as well, so I wanted to include um, my perspective on that, um, and then as well as you know the fish and plant information, and you know mix it all into one pot and then present it um, to people. And so that was the main reason for starting the channel, and that is what continues to motivate me is to try and attempt to create a place that has as much information as possible. That when somebody finds the one piece of info that they're looking for, they also find all the other things that are relevant to them. Now Mike, you jumped up in subscribers really, really fast by putting out awesome videos. Are there any videos in particular that you're proud of? Well, thanks Rick, I, I really appreciate that, man. Um, you know, if I had to pick one video, that might be too hard. Um, you know, obviously the project videos, there's a few of them that, are, that have become pretty popular, um, but for me, I think the, the videos that I'm the most proud of are the science videos because they take the most effort, they take the longest to produce, and they really, they really mean the most to me just in general um, because obviously science is, is something that's central to not only my hobby but just my life. Um, and so if I had to pick the videos that I, that I was most proud of, it would be a, the collection of those science videos. And finally, my last question is, any projects, plans, or series come to your channel we can expect to see in the near future? You know, as far as series go for the channel, um, I, I think I'm going to stick with the ones that I have. Um, I feel like it's a, pretty good, it's a pretty good set for the way things are going now. In the future, I think I would like to eventually bring on um, sort of like a really simple... I guess beginner tutorial series that might happen in uh, not the near future, but down the line. I think there's I have a pretty good list of um, of video ideas for that. Um, but as far as what I'm working on now, um, I'm trying to I'm writing three books all at the same time right now. Trying to um, in, in what spare time I have. Uh, that's really important to me. And I'm also, one of them is, is a setup book uh, on this tank, the 40 gallon behind me. And I'm also going to be during winter break, which is coming up here pretty close. There's a 90 gallon tank behind the camera that I'm going to be setting up and making a, a full 30, 45 minute video tutorial on how to set up a tank. And then I'm going to stretch it out through probably six months of maintaining that tank and talking about that. So that's um, a big thing that I'm going to be working on soon. Um, and yeah, so I'm, you know, be on the lookout. I'm almost done with a really sweet guide 
that is not one of the guides that I was originally going to, to be putting out. Um, and I don't want to give too much away because it's almost done and I'm really excited about it, but I'll just say that it has to do with plants, fertilizers, and keeping your plants looking awesome. So those are the things that I'm working on. Thanks a lot for having me on, Rick. Really appreciate it. Keep up the good work and I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, it's been another one-on-one -on -one with the Rick. If you have any suggestions on who you want to see for the one-on-one -on -one series, please leave it in the comments below. And as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.